Hey, there's the music. That means it's time for Animal Talk, some of the best doggone pet people on the planet, here to help you with your pets and have some fun along the way. I'm Jamie Flanagan, and I uh, just want to say thanks to our sponsors. WearingFunny.com, it is the home for all your, your pet parent wardrobe needs. Uh, get your cat daddy t-shirts, your doggy mommy shirts, all of those things available. WearingFunny.com, go there. And speaking of being a, an awesome pet parent and, and celebrating the beasts that bring so much to our, our lives. Uh, filmmakers are out doing exactly that, celebrating uh, the pets and the people and their lives and how they're intertwined. Uh, and I mentioned, uh, as, as I've mentioned before on the show, I'm a cat guy. Uh, totally, definitely. Cat. I love dogs. I love me some dogs, but uh, uh, always been, always been, always will be uh, a, a cat guy. And so this, this documentary caught my eye. And I'm like, I have to, I have to talk to the director and the creator of this. And so very, very kind to join us today on Animal Talk. Mai Hong, thank you uh, so much for, for joining us. Welcome to Animal Talk. Hey, thanks, Jamie. And we're going to talk all about cat daddies. And uh, I'm going to brag about uh, my cat in, in, just, in just a minute. But first, uh, tell me about your childhood. <laughs> Well, I did grow up with cats, <laughs> so let's start there. I did have cats and I had dogs, and I love both, but I think um, cats definitely suit my lifestyle a little bit better, a little bit lower maintenance. What was your first pet? Oh, gosh. Um, I had a kind of a, I took care of a stray kitty, and I don't even remember that kitty's name. It was so, <laughs> like, when I was really, really young, um, and then my dad brought home a stray kitten and at that time i named it normal because i was i was a big fan of garfield okay i named her N- normal all right <laughs> yeah and um yeah i've just had cats really all my life and now i'm up to six. Oh wow ah, okay <laughs> what is yeah. what is the uh there's i know there's a scale somewhere for uh where does crazy cat lady kick in where's crazy cat guy crazy cat lady kick well in? <laughs> according to the guys in the movie they would say three but <laughs> yeah i mean yeah it's it's no more work to have six versus three so it was just sort of like why not six it's uh you're you're entering you're entering colony territory there yes, it's uh yes. <laughs> that's a good thing yeah. that, um so rescues I'm, I'm assuming uh rescue kitties well yeah the last two i had four before i started this movie and just last summer i had uh two foster fails oh <laughs> so now that's why i'm up to six i did get four adopted out of the litter so so i did i did do some good work but then <laughs> i failed and fell in love with the last two. Ah, so, what are you going to um, do? What are you going to yeah. do? Uh, so how did you uh, embark on a, a career uh, and uh, as, a, as a filmmaker? Well, I always, uh, I was always going in the movies growing up. Uh, I did not really, there was not really a, la- a lot that I was allowed to do growing up because I grew up with, uh, my parents immigrated from Vietnam and um just they were super uh, strict and protective and so but we were allowed to go to the movies so me and my sisters would go to the movies together um so i really just fell in love with the cinema my first job was was at independent art house theater um i studied film through college i just always been uh writing and you know doing creative stuff um i ended up you know i've been doing the narrative filmmaking I did some short films with cats that were kind of like, some of them were commercials and branded content. So I think that sort of got my feet wet unknowingly. I really, I really did not set out to like become this cat filmmaker (laughs) or anything, but it's to make a documentary film with this being my first, I kind of thought this would be a fun light project to kind of step into the documentary world see if I like this. And, I, and it turned out that I I really love documentary filmmaking much more than narrative and that I think it suits me better as a person, as a creative. And so um, that was a great discovery. 
Um, but what I also didn't anticipate discovering was how hard that this cat documentary that I thought was going to be easy would turn out to be. And part of that is because half halfway through the shooting, we ended up in the pandemic ah. at, at, at 2020. And, and that changed the trajectory of the movie in so many ways with deadlines. Also, just the cast had changed um, because of travel or because of all the, the the stresses of what was going on that year um, caused some people to drop out. Um, so everything changed, but I still made it out with a with a movie that I think um, warms the heart and still touches people. So that's what I wanted to do. So why why Cat Daddies? What brought you to to this story? And well, it's actually a set of stories. Partially inspired by my own experience with my husband, who was not a cat guy at all when we were first dating. And it was by no influence of mine that, you know, one day cat found him, showed up on his doorstep, followed him around until, and then just kept coming back for food. And it only took a few days. He was smitten. He yeah. was hooked. It was this particular cat because he had met my cats and it was fine. But there was something about this cat that led him in <laughs> into a new world. And I oh. saw him change. I saw the before and after. And I thought, you know, there, there must be so many men, I'm sure, that have the same story. And, do, you know, that you would never peg as a cat guy. And, and I think you just don't know what you don't know. And I think men have been... Um, you know, trained and, and just so, so long to like, not like them. So it's amusing. There was a, a car commercial, uh, with say it's, it's, you know, your, your typical truck and a boy and his dog kind of commercial, but it's actually a boy and his cat. Uh, and it's really funny because the cat's just doing all these amazing things and, the, and people are astounded. They're like, Oh, that's amazing. He goes, you the truck, right? Uh, and it's, it's, it, it just, as, as your movie unfolded, uh, it reminded me of that that little commercial so much. Uh, so yeah, I've seen it too. And <laughs> it, I think now is the time. Um, social media has changed the game, and I think a lot of men are coming out showing their pride of being cat owners and not being ashamed or afraid to to show it to to unabashedly love them and be proud of it. And uh, I think that's great. I think we're gonna find um, you know we're gonna get more cats adopted. Um, and I think it's great for men. I think it's great for men to step out of the box and not be forced into what people think, you know, makes a manly man. And, and, I, and, and that's really what the movie's all about. I like it. So, uh, where did you find your cat daddies? How did you, uh, get connected with, uh, there's six gentlemen in the movie? Yes. Um, you know, it, it kind of turns out to be nine. Okay. If you count, um, someone in the movie who we weren't planning to you know we weren't really planning to interview we didn't set out but then it just turned out to be be another great cat dad character um so in the end it's nine but you know most of them i was already following and i was a fan of on social media and that's where i found them all like most of them were like i wouldn't it be great if they were these all these guys that I love were in a movie together and we could <laughs> their cats on the big screen and they could be filmed in 4K and just look really nice? And then, um, and then one man or or two um, was just a tip. Um, they had no social media presence at all. Um, there's one man who's who at the time was homeless in New York City and. And there was a lady, a cat lady, that was trying to help him for many years. And when she heard about my project, you know, she begged me to consider, you know, putting him in. And, and that's what we did. Right on. So, yeah, because it's, uh, I don't want to spoil anything, but there, there's one gentleman who has a lot of challenges in his life. Um, and, uh, you know, the, the, his cat's an important part of it, but, uh, sometimes it's hard to, it's, 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 if you're struggling to, to take care of yourself, uh, it's difficult to to take care of a pet uh, on top of taking care of yourself. Anyway, it was nice to see how people came together and and, and helped him out. Um, and uh, uh, for sure, to, yeah. yeah. So I and, mean, there were people who were trying to take the cat away from him, right? You know, from from his arms, yeah. And and they, they don't understand is that this was the only thing keeping him going. I think it's uh, it's something. 
it's, it says something about the unconditional love that pets can have for for humans and and a lot of times humans can't find that with each other so yeah <laughs> you know that sometimes the pet is everything to someone so i was gonna i was trying to share a picture of my cat and uh my computer's just absolutely evil um <laughs> I just updated it, and now it's like, you need permission to do this. I don't need permission to do anything, but apparently I do. Uh, machines are machines are evil. But I'm a cat. Like I said, I mentioned I'm a cat dad, uh, and I got my little Percy cat uh, at home, and he's uh, he's an amazing he's an amazing little guy. Um, my my first pet uh, was a we had a like a stray dog when I was when I was a kid. Uh, and then my sisters were the, the pet and animal people. Um, and, and so just ancillarily, I, I the, being the youngest, you know, my sister had rabbits. I had rabbits, you know, my, my sister had a cat. It was, you know, I got to play with a cat. Um, so, but, uh, once I, once I, I was out on my own, uh, I was thinking about getting a pet and sharing, sharing my life with a, a furry critter and, uh, I ended up going with a cat, a, a little guy named Kirby and had Aww. him. For uh, about twenty years, so uh, oh, wow, yeah, 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 yeah. So, so he got a senior guy. He was, he was, uh, he was, he had a he had a nice good long run, uh, <laughs> twenty years, and then it took a break for a little bit because yeah, I, I needed a break between the two. You know, it's hard to jump right back into it. And then uh, we ended up, we got Percy, uh, my wife and I. She we went to the thing, and I was looking at this one cat that was just like losing his mind, and it looked like a ton of fun. And then there was this little Percy cat, uh, just sitting in the hammock, just chilling. Uh, and uh, so we went for it. We got uh, we got the Percy cat, and oh, there's one of the where's one of them now? Oh, well, my foster fails. Oh. Yeah, this, this guy's name is Rooster. Ah, oh, Rooster. I like it. I like it. So uh, it's uh, so where where are you? At, uh, what's the uh, uh, gender of your of your cats? Hmm, I have three boys and two girls and one we don't know because it's a feral that won't let us near her, but I think it's a she. Okay. So <laughs> I would wager that. So what I've found with, with, with pets, um, that girl dogs are more affectionate, uh, but boy cats are, are the more affectionate, cuddly ones. And mm -hmm. people go, oh, my cat is like, you know, and it's like, oh, it's so much like a dog, you know. And generally speaking, nine times out of ten, uh, it's usually a boy cat. And usually the standoffish ones that uh, only come out to, to scratch in the shins and then run away, uh, those are usually the girl cats. <laughs> Which, again, this is just anecdotal I, I agree i would agree with that with my brood yeah i always i always advise people here. get a boy cat i mean the girls are not cuddly at all oh no but they're just not as much so as the boys and uh, uh sociable like uh yeah. you know my, my sister-in-law is a girl cat and uh, you know we get big family gatherings you won't see that cat uh if we're there just one or two of us you know you might see the cat uh, we got my my wife's family. She's one of eight. <laughs> Talk about a colony. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we've had like as many as thirty eight people for for Christmas, and uh, uh, it's just crazy. And uh, Percy, he's out there. He's just in it. You know, he's just he's, he doesn't care. You know, he's like, hey, there's a party right on. You know, so mm -hmm. he's not one of those timid. And then people say, oh, he's like a dog. You know, but actually, he does play right. fetch. He will play. He will play fetch. Mm. So you've made the film. You've, you've told these these captivating stories. Um, we don't want to spoil any of them, but uh, cats are influencers. They're driving trucks. They're 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 helping their owners survive some challenges. Uh, it's 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 a it's if you love cats and and you you love people and you love stories, uh, it, it's a, it's a good movie to go see. Uh, what what's next? So as a filmmaker, you make this film, uh, and is like an, you're an independent filmmaker. Um, I was talking to like one of these movie guys that I know in town, and uh, I compared it to um, I wasted my youth hanging out with guys in a rock and roll band, and we'd be in the van driving like from Detroit, you know, you know, across the state to you know, like doing little to Michigan college circuit of you know all the the Michigan colleges, and they'd be playing the the, the bars, and we'd be running around in a van, and uh, I kind of it, it, it you know it's got to be like that just kind of grinding it out finding places to perform or to screen your movie uh so i just kind of imagine it's something like uh just grinding it out and, and and finding places to you know have your voice or the voices you're representing be heard um 
how much of a challenge is that finding places to to screen your movie yeah you know it is very similar to a musical tour like you said um i'd say some of the challenges i wasn't expecting was you know it's even though it's been performing well if you look at the numbers and you look at the data and our per screen average that we're making it's on par with a lot of the other movies out there that have um distribution that that are you know um competing for awards um but because it's a documentary about cats it's really more challenging to get it taken seriously i'd say by a lot of the the people who program um the theaters that we're trying to get into so um you know i have a booker in new york and we work together as a team and um it's just a lot of like kind of like cold calling and pitching and and it kind of feels like you're raising money for the movie all over again like trying to get someone to say yes but um but we've done really great i mean for especially for a documentary film in these times when it's really hard to get people back in theaters um we've screened at um well over 30 locations and then i've also done 50 about 50 film festivals um so we're doing and you know we're still next week we're opening in 12 new cities so we'll still keep going um it's really important to me um not because i'm this like filmmaker who holds their film very precious and it must be seen in a theater or and, and but in the way like i am saying that but but not for the reasons you think uh, for me it's about bringing the community together um i just think it's so much fun to bring cat lovers together in one setting and and to enjoy something like this together and it's proven itself over and over and over again we've had so many sold out you know screenings across the country um and just seeing the joy on people's faces to gather again and you know to give out little you know cat ears that they wear or you know cat treats that they take home to their kitties um it's just so nice to see people um together and to see the cats on the big screen because i think that's what they deserve we made this movie to be seen this way that i mean we we spared nothing in in its cinematography the sound um the music everything this is not something i made to be seen like on the internet <laughs> right 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 so um so i hope people see it the way it's intended while they still can um but if they don't then you know you'll still be able to rent it later this year so um, that was the thing you so are you have it in reserve it's only available in theaters at the moment um, yeah, yeah. Okay. Until February seventeenth, okay. and um, then it will be rentable all over North America, so U.S., Canada, and we also have distribution in some other countries as well. So you'll also be able to get it um, in the U.K. and some other countries as well. All right. So it's uh, it's catdaddies dot com is uh, is the website. Yes. Yes. Cat Daddy's oh. Movie, actually. Cat Daddy's Movie.com. Cat Daddy's Movie.com. Uh, to find uh, the places it's playing, uh, people listen to this wherever, whenever, however. Uh, but we're in the Metro Detroit area. Um, and so you're opening up uh, on the 20th here, I believe. Yes. So Cinema Detroit Cin is a very cool theater that is cool enough to play us and let us do giveaways. And it'll be playing for a week. So uh, January 20th through the 26th. So should be a, a lot of fun to see that with an audience um it's a it's a movie you could take your mom to you can take uh older kids to yeah um and they'll love it that's awesome so people can find uh on cat daddy's movie.com the the different uh screenings that are taking place and then so what happens after that once it uh once it's done theatrical uh and it goes uh you're gonna make it available online uh, do you have any deals with anybody? Is it going to be on uh, a, which, a, a particular platform, or how are people going to find um, yeah, it? Yeah, it'll be rentable everywhere okay. you know you you can rent um, movies from. So Amazon, Apple, Vudu, all of that, and then um, and then we're working on a DVD, and the DVD will have some bonus features. So that'll be also out later this year. Uh, believe it or not, I get a lot of requests for that. <laughs> okay, for DVDs, um, yeah, people, yeah, people still want physical copies and get a lot of requests for the uh, VHS tapes still. 
not the VHS, <laughs> but unfortunately. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so um, it's gonna keep going and then keep going internationally. So it'll eventually, I hope, be all over the world. And then um, I've got to figure out what I'm gonna do next. So <laughs> yeah, yeah. So how important are are the film festivals? Uh, for you as, as an independent filmmaker to, to enter those and, and, and hopefully do well in them. How important is it for, for your film? Um, you know, it really depends. It really depends film to film if it's important or not. There's definitely a lot of movies that are so marketable that they don't really need film festivals and they, you know, can find an audience. But, but I think uh, for this, it's been really, really instrumental in just getting the word out. Most of the people who know about my movie, it's all through social media, word of mouth. Um, so in a lot of the festivals, you know, I've been playing film festivals since 2021. So it's just been building and building and off of that. And it's been very helpful. And um, it, it also helps helped me figure out how to market the film and um, and and just, you know, who the audience is and figuring that all out. And it's just been a lot of fun. It's been really fun, especially to screen in cities where the cat dads live. Oh, OK. Do you yeah. Do you make it out to many of the cities when, the, when yes, it's screening? we had a wonderful opening in New York. So um, almost all the guys were there. We had um, some wonderful ones in the Bay Area where we filmed. And in some cases, the cats, uh, a couple of the cats from the movie will come out to do Q and A with us. Yeah. <laughs> so it's been a lot of fun for people to get to meet them and take pictures of them and just see them in person. It's been a lot of fun to have everybody involved. Because a couple of the cats have kind of a, a, a decent uh, social media, follow, better than mine, for that's for sure, uh, social media following. Uh, and people want to come out and, 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 and see them. It was funny. That, so the one guy was like saying in the, in the documentary, he's like, don't drive 300 miles to see my cat. I will be around you sooner or later. Yeah, and that, that cat actually made it to some of the screenings. Yay. Yeah. Aww. So that was a lot of fun to see people interact. Oh, look All at right. It. So there's look. the, there's the picture of Percy cat. Look. He's a he's a blue, beautiful blue eye. He's a he's a mutt, but he's uh, part American short hair and part uh, Siamese. So he's got the 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 little tips on his tail and on his ears, and he's squawky. And he's got very very blue. He's got very blue eyes. He's a beauty. Oh yeah, and he's a beast. He's a he's a big he's a big boy. Not as big. A couple of those cats were like really big, uh, but uh, uh, he's a he's a he's a big boy. So. All right, uh, so you don't know what's next, right? So uh, what, I was going to say, what film are you doing next? You're still pondering. Any ideas in the hopper? Oh, I have a few, but I don't have the connections. But I would sure love to do something on the the feral cats at Disneyland or the um, the Hemingway cats in Key West. Okay. Um, so an- another documentary you're thinking maybe, perhaps? Yeah, I... I yeah, I've just had so much fun doing this. You know, maybe we'll keep it going. I've had, had people ask me to do a sequel, but I don't I don't know if we'll do that, but <laughs> you never know. Because, you know, originally I did plan for Cow Daddies to be um, international. So we, you know, but because of the pandemic, we ended up staying just in the U.S. So I have thought about going to other continents. You know, so there you go, Cat Daddy's Europe, Cat Cat yeah, Daddy's exactly. uh, Pacific. Asia, uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so we'll see what happens. I think it just depends on you know how it's received um, right. after VOD. Sure, sure, sure. All right. So my thank you so much for uh, uh, taking some time here. And again, like I said, uh, check out the website. It'll be linked uh, in the comments, and then. Uh, uh, People can go check it out or, or find it on demand once it's uh, on demand in places. And uh, good luck with the rest of the run. And uh, thanks again so much for, for joining us. Thank you so much. All right. Have take care. One. Bye. Yay. All right. Thanks, Jamie. Do, do you know any any 
journalists that need tickets or want to come? Or? Um, yeah, I sent uh, I sent the the, the 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 little bio thing off to to Cat Gary Graff and uh, Kurt Krug, uh, both uh, entertainment writers here. Um, and uh, so yeah, I was waiting to hear back from them. But uh, if I need to coordinate that, I'll definitely uh, I'll kick you an email. Thank you. So and I was a, yeah, I, you sent the screener, so I, I watched it on that. Although um, I I do love the 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 area down there where the Detroit cinema cinema is. Mm-hmm. Um, it's uh, it's uh, kind of they kind of call it Midtown. Um, mm-hmm. it, it's a nice it's a it's some cool stuff happening down there. So. Um, there's well, a, they have been so supportive there, and um, we've partnered with uh, some cat groups, and and they're bringing their peeps out. So perfect. So it should be a fun time. I wish I could be there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, all right. Well, good luck, and uh, I'll definitely, I'll definitely kick an email if I make it out there. I'll send you some pictures. Oh, that'd be great. Thanks so much. <laughs> all right, you take care. Bye bye. All right, bye. Thanks for being with us for another episode of Animal Talk. Make sure you do all those podcast things in the podcast places. Like, subscribe, leave a comment. We hope you had a little fun along the way. Make sure you head on over to wearingfunny.com. You can grab yourself some gear to show off what a proud pet parent you are. Are you a cool cat mom? Are you a happy doggy daddy? We got all the gear just for you. Hats, shirts, all kinds of swag. Wearingfunny.com. Go check it out and show yourself a little animal pride with Animal Talk. Once again, like, subscribe, leave a comment. Thank you so much for being here. Have an exotic week and kiss your wild thing for us. Bye-bye, boys. Have fun storming the castle. Thank you, the lake. It would take them there. Bye-bye.